Have you ever wondered how an F1 helmet's artwork comes to fruition? Well, today we are here at Demon Tweaks in Wales to visit MDM Designs, who create designs for Lando Norris, George Russell, and Alex Albon, to name a few. What are the processes behind it? Let's go find out right now. Here he is, the F1 helmet guru himself, Miles. You are generous. How How's are you, Matt? Yeah, good nice to, to meet see you. you. Nice to see you too. Good. Oh, look at this. So what have we got? Alex Albon, yeah. George Russell and George Russell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we wait for one of Lando, but that's not arrived, sadly. We've so we've got one. the mini one instead. It's a good bit of artwork. Right, so Miles, <laughs> we're here to find out how do you do that? Okay, so can you can you run us through the processes behind it maybe? That that probably could be a good start. Uh, simply, it is just basically colouring the computer. That's the simplest way of doing it. Colouring. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah, a lot of the time is, um, the driver will come in saying, new season, new helmet. I'll give a brief idea of what they're after. It's like colours, styles, anything like that. Sometimes they just want to evolve their last helmet. So, for example, there you've got George's um, Texas one that we did there. And Schumacher then, Red Matt. Yes, basically. Schum the Schumacher Red Matt is the best one to go from that. I'm a big fan of that. That's Absolutely, yeah. good colour. You can see the colour difference from there. Like, it's a slightly brighter red in matte finish compared to his standard one there. Yeah. So you just made it pop out that bit more. Hopefully, that should be carried over to next year because it really did pop out nicely. At uh, certain times, you'll have like race special events where they'll say, I want, like, there's a new event coming on. I want to do something wacky Being for it. Lando. Mexico, exactly, as an yeah. example. Sometimes they'll have ideas, like Lando's quite in depth with his helmets. He likes to get really, really involved. So he'll like send over, I want to include this into my helmet. I like this idea. He said, I want to get to the end of that. We send the um, artwork over to the helmet painter, like bits they made in the certain files, like certain logos. I want to send like the Red Bull. You send them over in the right sizes. They need to put it on the helmet. And then essentially they work their magic from there. The famous jar of helmet. Yes. Right, initially the idea was, we got to the Abu Dhabi finale. You have your normal sparkly like hologram stuff, everyone's in the helmets. Yeah. And then we said to Lando, do you want to do something like we did via Carl in 2018, like a tribute helmet to the team? And then he mentioned that his promotion engineer jar is leaving now. He said, all right then, do you want to put like his name on it? And they said, nah, I'm going to put a catchphrase on, which is my shoes. Mm. So that's now famous on it there. And they said, oh, let's, let's do something like put a giant picture of his face on it. So he sent me this photo of, um, of him flying as a, as a pilot there. Put the Michoud's text underneath him. Lando wanted to have it like an extended one, so it's like saying Michoud's, yeah. you get louder towards the end. And then that took pride of place on the back of the helmet. So it's safe to say, I think it went down quite well. Yeah, so what we do, we start with the side on first, because it's, it's the most dominant view. You'll see it all the time. So you, you do the main design for that. Aligning the McLaren sponsors that change every single race, but you have to leave space for them regardless. Yep. So they're all happy with it. And so once the design on the side is all complete, then you have to map it onto the other views. So we purposely, the artwork is clipped inside that template. We unclip it, move it to the rear so it's accurate as possible. Clip it back in, add the details there, and essentially the same on the top and the front. Yep. Once all the views are approved by Lando and the team, we send it over to Helmet Painter. In this case, it was JMD, we painted this one. Send all the vector files needed, so it would be like Jav's face, the letter in the effect in the background, and he works his magic from there and paints it up. I think a lot of people are wondering, you know, as we see across the season, so many different helmet design changes, and yet the FIA has said there's only supposed to be one change. Uh, how does that work for, for your occupation, and, and what are the, the loopholes that these drivers are finding, especially Lando? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, a lot of it is the fundamental design has got to stay the same. It's like if you looked at Lando's original design of all the blue shapes in that, he has some orange in there already. Yep. So essentially all we've done over the year, mainly with Lando's, is you kind of change the elements that are either in the yellow or in the blue. Like for example, the Mexico one's probably the best example. That's just the um, Day of the Dead elements, multicolored in the blue shapes, and the um, Day of the Dead skull in the back. They let that pass through straightforward because there was no fundamental change. Right, we've spoken about it on the computer, but I'm quite excited just to touch an F1 helmet. Oh, that sounds weird, but anyway, let's, let's do it. Uh, here we go. Let's look at George Russell's yep. one from Cota. A very cool design, not going to lie. It's got that kind of speed element to it as well, hasn't it, with the, with the stripes? That's red, it goes faster, doesn't it? Yeah, you yeah, it does. Story. Yeah, well, maybe not, maybe not for Williams this year, but uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit more about the helmet? Maybe some difficult areas, things that you had to work on. Uh, now that we can yep. see it up close and I'm kind of touching it, it's really fun. Well, to be fair, the main design element, it was quite straightforward, really. Take, uh, take the standard design adjust the colour to suit America. So the stars and stripes are in here now. So this normal helmet has these areas in white. We just changed it to blue. Add some stars in there. Change its main colour in the background to the red, as we mentioned before. What you can't tell from the design sheet is it's all matte finished, this one. So when you get up close, you see all the colours are flattened into each other to get a different finish. 
it's quite hard to simulate on the drawing, so when you see it in person, that's when you get the full feel of how the colours look and everything. And this is race worn as well. Can you tell me what the differences are between a normal helmet? You know, you've got so many different features. Can you run me through them? Uh, main thing you notice here is the hands posts for the hands device. And like things like carton helmets, like they don't have these, but they do in any FIA approved sport. You notice the tear offs here because the Pirelli tyres and the debris on track. Last thing you want to do is have your vision blurred, so they get that on there, rip a tear off off. Don't throw it in the air and take your side pods, and away you go. Try and throw it into the people's behind. Absolutely, right? that's, that's yeah, the that's, way. The, that's the aim in it. <laughs> you notice here there's a lot of um, vents on the top. These can vary circuit to circuit, depending on how much air the driver needs. Each manufacturer okay. has a different set, there's dull bottom fluid. Does that have to cool drivers. the head down? Yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's just, the only cooling they get is just how fast they're going down. Yeah. down so the they can't do what they do in karting where you open up the visor oh, and no, you you don't want a face full of tire rubber, <laughs> no. do you? you know, so there's a front spoiler on the helmets, which um, reduces the lift on the helmet, because the last thing you want to do is go down the straight, engage the RS, and get strangled by your own lid. Not a good way to go. Absolutely not. <laughs> and in case you'll see on some helmets, they have a spoiler on the rear as well. The visor is a lot smaller than it used to be in previous years. You yeah. used to have that big xylon panel on the front. Yes. It's now integrated in this time. I see. If I flip it open now, you can see just it's how narrow it is compared to it used to be. Just about for the eyes. That's about it, really, isn't yeah, yeah. it? That's. It's like, if you try, well, it's a bit claustrophobic, but you get used to it quite quickly. <laughs> there you have it. We now know how an F1 helmet's artwork is brought to life, and it's by this man, Miles from MDM Designs. What a fella! What a great guy! What is also great is Schumacher's race overalls being behind me. Very excited indeed, Miles. Thank you so much for having us and also agreeing to create an F1 helmet for us. That's, uh, that's I great to hear. Don't... Can't wait to see that in action. Gonna be uh, <laughs> Miles. Thank you so much. See you soon. Goodbye. Miles, do, do the helmet, go.